Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex, the Comic Order. Thank you so much for clicking play on this video. In this video, I am going to be unboxing the most monumental, the most significant, and most expensive book I have ever owned in all of my comic book collecting history. I am beyond excited for this. I'm gonna tell you how I got this, and then I'm gonna show you the book. Hopefully you guys are excited. Here we go. All right, so I've always had a goal in mind, and, and I've talked to a lot of people about this, that ideally, bulk is not what I'm after. I'm not after like a 50,000 book collection. Ideally, what I would love is to have a, like a five, 10 book collection where every single book was just an absolute banger, like mega key. And when I'm talking mega key, I'm talking like big, big, significant historical book. And so I believe that this is the start of that process. And I believe that I have achieved a first in that goal. Now, let me, let me give you a little bit of history on myself. I've done this before in vintage guitars. I used to buy and sell and collect vintage guitars, and I worked my way up to the pinnacle of vintage guitars. I had a 1958 Gibson Les Paul Standard, which is known as The Burst. And this is absolutely the pinnacle of guitars. And some people were like, man, you had 11 amazing vintage guitars, you know, like 60s, 50s Gibsons, 70s Fenders, 70s, 70s Gibsons. I've had um, Gretsch's, Rickenbackers. I've had all of these amazing collectible guitars and I've got pictures of all of them. And these were vintage guitars, high dollar guitars, but I took all of those 11 guitars and traded up for the granddaddy like the biggest, the best, and I used that guitar. I enjoyed owning it, and, and when I ended up selling it, I paid off half the mortgage. So it was a blessing. It was a blessing that I got to own it. It was a blessing that I got to experience, and that guitar, that historical guitar passed through my hands, and then I was able to pay off half of the mortgage uh, with the profits. So I'm not saying that this is a book that I wanna sell. It's that I want to take a lot of my collection, and the way that Marvel is going right now, Marvel prices are through the roof. So I look at my Marvel collection, and I look at how much do I have into these books. So if my acquisition cost is $5,000, if my acquisition cost is $10,000, $11,000 for a set amount of books that are worth now potentially forty dollars to $50,000, my acquisition cost into those books could be five, ten, eleven thousand dollars $11,000, but I could potentially get a $50,000 book. I've looked at it in that way, and I would never be able to afford this book otherwise if it weren't for the, the craziness in the Marvel prices, which is great. I hope they continue to do very, very well for my friends who have those books. And for me, I wanted to tain one of, of the mega, mega, mega keys. And you'll see in just a bit what I'm talking about. So I traded some of my uh, pretty big blue chip Marvel books for this book. And then I'm also going to potentially sell some more of my Marvel books to attain more uh, books of this level. So hopefully that's okay. I know that's kind of personal and people are collecting, you know, in this hobby. They're very, very passionate about it. They're also, they're very opinionated, opinionated one way or the other. Did I do a good job? Did I not do a good job? Would you have done this? Would you have not done this? I'm not looking for that. All I want to do is focus on this achievement, this book, and then celebrate that and then enjoy owning this. That's kind of like the first step in my goal of like a very, very small, tight collection of just like mega, mega, mega keys. So hopefully you guys are excited to see what the book is. Let's get into this right now. All right, so I'm into the box now. It's packaged extremely well. And I'll tell you um, how I acquired this, like actually physically acquired it, uh, the deal that was made. Lots of, lots of great packing, nice uh, extra paper here for spacing. And I will show you the eBay, eBay seller that I got this from, Collector's Comics. So I reached out, I knew this was a book that I wanted. I knew that I had a goal in mind of achieving one of the top 10 highest, uh, you know, record selling golden age books. And I wanted it in a really nice grade because I the books that I had to trade for this thing uh, were significant enough that I think it would gain the attention of, of a lot of, of eBay sellers. And so I reached out to this eBay seller. Collectors Comics was very, very gracious. They saw the opportunity in the books that I had to offer. Uh, they worked with me. They, we, we had a very, very great interaction. And I hope to continue to work with this 
with the seller. I'm gonna show you the book and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about why why this book. And as I'm looking at this thing and I'm holding it in my hands, it is, um, it's really breathtaking. It is really shocking that it's in my hands. I, I don't. I don't even know if I've ever seen this in person before. This book, but it is without further hesitation, without further delay or wait. All Star Comics number eight. This is from December of 1941 into January of 1942. It's 4.0 off white pages, and so this copy is absolutely stunning. There's a little bit of a tape pull or something right there. There's a little bit of a chip or something right here. But this book, holy smokes. And then look at the back cover. Absolutely beautiful. And I love that it's in the brand new case. This white up here, or this, this white up here is just a, a miscut from top to bottom. And then you've got a little bit of I, I think there might be a little bit of the same on this side, but it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I, like I said in my top 50 comics, 4.0 for a, a DC key is, is awesome for me for like the first appearance. But this is the first appearance of Wonder Woman, Hippolyta, and then also um, first appearance of Steve Trevor. So three first appearances, Wonder Woman obviously being the key. Paradise Island is also in this for the first time, the Amazons. And then also in this book, Starman and Dr. Midnight join the Justice Society of America and Green Lantern becomes an honorary member. So this book is in the top, like this for me is, is kind of like a Mount Rushmore type book. This is, I believe, number six on the all time top selling golden age comics of all time. Also, Sensation number one is in that record-breaking top 10 as well. So that's the first cover appearance and second appearance of Wonder Woman. But this is the book, you guys. Uh, this is a grail for me. And this is kind of like, this is where I want my collection to be, is in books like this. All right, some numbers on this one. Uh, in 2017, this book sold for anywhere from 50 to $75,000. And there was four recorded sales for 4.0s in 2017. Now just keep in mind there are only 12 universally graded 4.0s on the census. There's 130 universals, I think 186 total graded for All-Star Comics and uh, like I said 130 of those are universal blue label. There's only one signature series I think and the rest are qualified or restored. And so this book is very very rare. There's only a few people that I know that have this book. Currently, this book is selling for about $40,000, and we value it at about $40,000, $45,000. I don't even think you can find another 4.0 for, for less than that, um, but this book is, is fantastic. It's amazing, and I'm so happy to have it. I, I think that this is just, uh, it's the pinnacle of my, is, of my comic book collecting. Like I said, this is, the, this is where I want my comic book collection to be, but I just want to show you guys uh, what I got how super super excited i am this is this is this is it for me like this is this is what i what i dream about what i strive for and i'm so happy that i was able to achieve this uh, that's it you guys thank you so much for watching if you're not already subscribed to the channel please hit that subscription button hit that bell to be notified when there's future videos there's a daredevil unboxing that'll be coming up very very soon going to a con coming up uh, in april april 23rd and 24th next week if you're in the area if you're in driving distance i would love to to see you hang out with you of hannibal missouri big river comic con but you guys this is it this is the pinnacle all-star eight first appearance of wonder woman steve trevor hippolyta paradise island Starman and dr midnight join the jsa green lantern becomes an honorary member this cover is rad as heck man this cover is amazing i did read digitally the first appearance of wonder woman awesome stuff and and that historic and beautiful cover of Sensation Comics number one is pretty much the splash page for the Wonder Woman story in this. And then also there is a full page preview ad which shows Wildcat and it shows the other first appearances, you know, in the bubbles uh, of Sensation number one. So that's actually like, like the preview, the, the true first. No, I'm just joking. Awesome book. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all on the next one. See ya. Bye.